Living in America's finest city is not for everybody. In this video, I'm going to share with you five reasons why you should not move to San Diego, California in 2024. Yo, this is Isaac Owens, your real estate and mortgage consultant. And if you are planning to buy or sell or refinance or move to San Diego, let me know. You can contact me using the number in the description, or you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me so we can talk a little bit more in depth. I'd be happy to work with you and answer any questions that you have. So there's a number of reasons why you probably shouldn't move to San Diego, California in 2024. And in this video, I'm just going to share a handful of reasons that I thought of that might be helpful for you if you are planning or considering moving here to San Diego. The first reason why you should not move here in 2024 is pretty obvious. It's the high cost of living. San Diego is a very expensive place to live. This is actually one of the main reasons why so many people are actually moving out of San Diego and outside of California because it's just getting very expensive to live here. Some time ago, San Diego was ranked as the most expensive place to live in the United States. And that can be a scary thing for some people who currently live here, but also for people who are planning to move here. So if you're coming from a place where your cost of living is very, very low, you're used to saving a ton of money, and it's just very easy for you to get by and pay for your living expenses, you're going to want to do your research and actually check out one of the videos I made before. It's a video about the cost of living here in San Diego. But the more you understand about how expensive it is to live here in San Diego, the more aware you're going to become about whether or not moving here is going to be right for you and right for your family. So before you move to San Diego, you want to know exactly how much money you're willing to spend to maintain your current lifestyle. You want to know exactly how much you're spending each month on your living expenses so that you can compare that to what it's going to cost you when you do live here in San Diego. Because the last thing you want to do is move here to America's finest city and end up struggling financially. Reason number two why you should not move to San Diego, California in 2024 is the expensive home prices. Home prices and home values here in San Diego and California in general increase very rapidly. These expensive home prices in San Diego make it difficult for some people to actually buy their very first home. So if you're moving here from somewhere else, consider what it's gonna cost you to rent here in San Diego compared to what it's gonna cost for you to actually buy a home here. If you are very well off financially and you know for a fact that you can afford a $700,000 or a million dollar home very easily and comfortably, then you have nothing to worry about. So if you're moving here from somewhere else where your home prices and home values are relatively low, it might be a little bit of a shock to you to find out what the average home price here in San Diego is. Not too long ago, back in 2023, the average home prices here in San Diego actually reached $1 million. Right now, we're somewhere around $900,000. To some people, that's very expensive and makes it harder for them to actually buy their first home. But if you're determined to live here in San Diego and you're determined to own a home when you do move here, be prepared financially and know how much it's going to cost you every single month to own a home here. The third reason why you should not move to San Diego, California in 2024 is high gas prices. If you're from here and you've lived here for a while, then you know living here means you're going to have to own a car. We do have public transportation like the trolley or the train or local buses that you can use. But San Diego is such a big place that the public transportation is simply not enough. So if you're coming here from somewhere else where you're used to living in a place where you can just walk everywhere and everything is, you know, super close for you to live where you don't even need to own a car, maybe you can ride a bike or you can ride skateboards or something like that where you don't actually need a car to get around. San Diego is not that place for you. Now, because this is a place where you're going to want to own a car, driving around is going to be one of those expenses that you just can't avoid. And the cost of gas here in San Diego is somewhere around $4 up to just under $5 a gallon. And that number adds up very, very quickly because you're driving around so much here in San Diego. If you don't work from home and you need to drive to the office every single day, that's going to add up to your gas expense. 
if you have kids and you have to pick them up and drop them off to school or to a sports practice or a sports event, or maybe they have a tutor or you want to take them out on the weekends to do something fun, that gas expense is going to add up very, very quickly. But why are gas prices so high in San Diego? Well, the reason is because we actually have a gas tax here in San Diego. Some places don't have a gas tax, but we actually have that here. And that makes gas prices even more expensive. Now, what you actually pay for your gas expenses every single month is going to depend on your lifestyle. But realize that when you live here in San Diego, there's so many different things to do. There's so many different places for you to go. The chances of your gas expense increasing when you move here is very high. The fourth reason why you should not move to San Diego, California this year in 2024 is the state income tax. In addition to the high home prices and the high gas prices, we also have a state income tax. Now, what you actually pay for the California state income tax really depends on how much money you earn every single year, how much money you report on your taxes, and what tax bracket that you're in. The state income tax ranges anywhere from 1% all the way up to 13%. Now, for some of you watching this, you might think to yourself, that's actually not that bad. For others who are moving here from a place like Florida or Washington or Texas or Tennessee, where there's no state income tax, this is going to be one of those reasons why you're not going to move here because the amount of money that you earn every single year is going to instantly decrease when you move here because of that state income tax. This is another one of those reasons why people who live in San Diego or live in California are moving out because they're tired of paying this state income tax every single year, especially if they're earning a lot of money every single year, and they want to move to places that have no state income tax so they can keep more money for themselves, for their family, and have more money to invest. Now, the state income tax may or may not be a deal breaker for you, but realize that if you are planning to move here to San Diego, that this state income tax is just going to add to the high cost of living for you when you do eventually live here in San Diego, California. The fifth and final reason why you should not move here to San Diego in 2024 is traffic. And don't get me wrong, our traffic is not as bad as LA traffic. Matter of fact, it's very different. LA traffic is kind of crazy. And I remember I went to my buddy's birthday party last year and just driving at 11 p.m. at night, almost midnight, there was traffic, standstill traffic. But when you live here in San Diego, traffic time is usually at the times when everyone is driving to work in the morning and everyone's coming home from work in the evening. We have a lot of people that live here in San Diego, several million people that live here. And every single year, it seems like the population in San Diego is increasing, which means that people are constantly moving here, which is adding to that level of traffic. So if you're coming from a place where you're used to living in a small town, where there's not a lot of people around, little to no traffic, living here in San Diego is gonna be a little bit of a culture shock to you. Even after you live here for a while, and you start to understand more about the traffic flow and which routes to take at what times so you can avoid the traffic, there's still going to be some cases and situations where there's road work being done and avoiding traffic just isn't possible. Again, San Diego traffic is nowhere near as bad as LA traffic, but it still kind of sucks to be sitting in traffic for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes when you have some more that you need to be. Some places here in San Diego are a lot more crowded than others, so it really depends on where specifically you choose to live here in San Diego. But for the most part, you're likely going to experience traffic when you do live here. And you're gonna have to live here for a certain period of time before we can figure out the flow of traffic and how to take certain routes to avoid that traffic and get to where it is that you wanna go a lot more quickly. So those are my five reasons why you should not move to San Diego, California in 2024. And if you noticed, most of them, four out of five of those reasons had to do with finances. It had to do with how expensive it is to live here in San Diego. Now, these reasons for you may or may not be a deal breaker and may or may not determine whether or not you actually want to move here to San Diego. And that's okay. But as somebody who grew up here my whole life and who absolutely loves living here in San Diego, the only real reason why I think someone should not move here is if you can't afford it. If it's going to be financially difficult for you to live here, you probably shouldn't do it. Unless you absolutely have to because 
you're in the military and you're getting stationed here, or if your company is relocating and you have to move here for work, then that's a completely different story. But the biggest thing that you have to keep in mind if you are planning to move here to San Diego is that your cost of living, your living expenses is gonna increase. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it motivates me to keep making content like this for you. If you live here in San Diego, leave a comment below about what you think. What do you think are some reasons why other people should not move here to San Diego in 2024? Again, if you're planning to buy or sell or refinance or move to San Diego, let me know. Call or text me using the number in the description or schedule a consultation with me for free so we can talk a little bit more in depth and get your questions answered. I'd be happy to work with you and help you make this process happen a lot more easily and quickly. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.